Okay, good afternoon, Robert. Super Method 155. Super Method 155. So we started a new section in our uh, geometry book today on 3D geometry. Yep. And I thought it might be a, a fun exercise to go through how to calculate the lengths of diagonals of cubes. Uh, but before we get to diagonals of cubes, let's just start with the square. How do you find the length of that? Mm. Diagonal of a square. You may as well just assume it has uh, size lengths or one. So then it's just the Pythagorean theorem. We have one, this is root two. Okay. Makes sense. Just snag that eraser real quick. So we know for uh, a square, the diagonal is root two. And do you know what root two is? It's 1.414 about. Okay, about 1.414. Okay, so. That's how long that diagonal of a cube is. Now, what do you think you would do for the diagonal, sorry, diagonal of a square? What do you think you'd do for a diagonal of a cube? Well, you could do the same thing, really, but you need to calculate this length. This length is root 2. Ah, so we actually have the diagonal of a square from previous uh, calculation there. So what does the Pythagorean theorem say? Call this x. What does it say? Well, I'll draw the triangle. Okay, sweet. So the side length is 1, the side length is root 2, and the side length is x. Okay. So we have 1 squared plus root 2 squared is, equals x squared. 1 plus 4, or 1 plus 2 is x squared. 3 is x squared. x equals root 3. So interesting. So the diagonal of a cube going from one corner to the opposite corner is root 3. Now, a little bit harder to visualize. What about a four dimensional cube? What do you think the diagonal would be? Well, that went from root 2 to root 3. Maybe the next one would be root 4. Okay. Why, why do you think that might be the case? Well, we have another triangle where it's, we have 1 root 3. Okay. And then this is root 4 or 2. So if the, if the diagonal of a, of a cube is representative of what happens in the next dimension, which is going to be very difficult for us to visualize. Yeah, this, is, this, is always, this is always the longer leg in the next dimension. Yeah. So you can see you have the diagonal from the square, and then you go up 1 in the next dimension. So we have the diagonal from the three-dimensional cube, and we go up 1 in the fourth dimension, and you get this triangle, this two-dimensional triangle, which has, goes up 1, goes across root 3, and that means the hypotenuse is 2. Anything interesting about this triangle of four dimensions? It's a 30-60-90 triangle. How about that? So in a 30-60-90 triangle, sorry, rewind, in a four-dimensional cube, or a hypercube, that diagonal forms a 30-60-90 triangle. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So in a square, that diagonal is going up at a 45 degree angle. In a cube, we're not quite sure what that angle is. Because we don't know and we don't know anything special about the one root two root three triangle. But in a four-dimensional cube, that diagonal is going up at a 30 degree angle. So as the cubes get larger in dimension, it seems like the angle is shrinking. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Dimension infinity will be a zero. It'll be a line. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll tell you something that's probably not too surprising. Yeah. Infinite dimensions is a little bit crazy to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> but mathematicians have figured out how to study it. But it's a little bit different than, um, than you might think initially, anyway. Well, there's something interesting. Dimension infinity and dimension one here have the same diagonal length. What do you mean? Because with this triangle in dimension 1, it's a line, uh -huh. and in dimension infinity, it's a line. Yeah, but it might not be the same length, because yeah. remember you're going square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3, square root of 4. And this line has length 1, and this is dimension 1. Yeah, in dimension 1, that the line itself is the diagonal. In dimension infinity, we it looks know. like it might be the square root of infinity. Which what? Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, anyway, cool. Good work. Good work. 
Good work.